Slop City Podcast! Oh, that's beautiful! What'd you say, bitch? Good now? All right, let's crank it up, Libby. Got it? Uh, two, three, uh. So much. I did. Yeah. Is it fine? I think it's okay, though. I think it came back to its original spot. Oh. Whoa. That's the end sound, Randy. What have you done? I just had to test it. Give a clap, brother. Ooh, my elbow is crusty, man. <laughs> wow. We have to almost start over now. Do we? Libby's got real bad anxiety. I don't, because look at these new... My, you guys can't see the actual stand itself, but Randy updated our microphone holders. You know, it's kind of like if you if you update... You know, you get a new bookcase in your home. You get a new item from the container store. And you're like, wow, I'm just so organized. These are crisp. They look crisp. I feel... Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm I'm used to turning my stand like this. Yeah, we don't have to anymore. Randy's just got it there for us. See, and that's how you know you're climbing the ranks. And you're getting richer. You're getting more notoriety. You know, somebody asked me, hey, what do you do? I just say, I'm very rich. Um, very wealthy. I'm very, I am I come from old and new money. Randy, does this sound okay? Even though I'm talking to it at an angle? Yeah, it sounds perfect. Oh. I mean, look, I don't even have to touch it anymore. Like, <clears throat> usually it would drop down to here and I'd have to pull it back. I'd have to use my rich body and my rich <laughs> muscles that are being built by a $10 kettlebell from Marshall's that's 10 pounds. Yeah, I buy my workout equipment at Marshall's. Does it matter? No. If it's 10 pounds at Marshall's, it's also 10 pounds at uh, Nordstrom Rack. Here's the deal, Pumpkin Eel. I jumped on the weight thing, you know, the scale, put that kettlebell on there. Guess what it weighed? 10 pounds. They really know how to weigh stuff. You know, Marshall's does. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, they really know. You know, I got, I got, a, I got a brain buzzler for you. I got a riddle for you. Does, uh, what's, what's heavier? 10 pounds of feathers or 10 pounds of rocks? Yeah. I'm going to say. What do you think's heavier? And this is just my critical mind thinking. I'm going to say they're both the same because they're both 10 pounds. <laughs> You're right. You are correct. Which one's denser? I don't know. I don't. Which one has more girth? I don't even hardly know what density means. Which one has a bigger radius? Who cares? Who cares? I'm going to go ahead and just go out on a limb and say it's the rocks. Well, they could be small pebbles. <laughs> like little pebbles that a, a bunny poops. I will say that... Stop looking at me, Randy. <laughs> Libby's trying to adjust something because she can't hand. Libby's used to doing things on her own and not being rich and not feeling I kinda good. I kind of want it more this way so that I don't have to lean. See, look at that. Oh! Whoa, baby. I was afraid I'd break it if I did that. Gonna be honest, so was I. It needs a little bit of an aural. Now it's way up high. What if we just shatter it immediately? Oh, okay. We're just not used to... We're just... To, uh, now I'm very high. We're not used very to high. fancy things. Now the microphone is near her nasal cavity. You got to pull it down. How's that? Does it feel good to you? I think so. Why don't you ask Randy to come over, explore your body. I think this and, is perfect. Yeah? You look nice. I'm looking in the thing. It looks like it's not obstructing my facial view, which is good because everybody needs to see my facial view. Sure. I mean, All my facial. You, what about me? Does mine look good? I'm looking at the camera, and it it's kind of off to the left. Like, it looks really professional and chill. <laughs> you know, like, you see someone's podcast, a video, maybe, like, I don't know, Joe Rogan's right. pod, podcast. Your mom's house. Your mom's house podcast, Breakfast Club. You know, just, like, cool podcasts. And they've got a chill vibe with the microphones. And right now, like... 
it's kind of just leaning off to the left. Like, I look like a dope-ass bitch. What up? What up, players? I miss the bread ties, though. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have any bread ties on this uh, rich people stuff. That's how you know that our podcast is really growing. Because Randy spent his own money. Oh, he just threw the... He threw the bread ties at you. You know, I think we should set those up on the little counter on the shelfie. I think you're right. <laughs> to kind of mark our progress. Because if you guys remember, like, people that are watching the newer episodes, we didn't start doing the YouTube for Slop City until, what, probably, like, tw episode 20 or something? Is that when we started? Was it that long into it? I think so. Thank God, because Randy can back Randy those... can look it up because we have a computer that's hooked up now. Look, look at your face on that thumbnail. I know. On Sleepy, I chose Sleepy that Joe. one on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I chose all these on purpose. Some of these thumbnails are just truly horrific. <laughs> no, they're hilarious. That one, I look like I'm like nya, 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 nya. I look like I'm possessed. <laughs> But it makes people think, huh, I'm going to click this because this is, looks weird. Pink sweater almost in every video. The famous pink sweater. I have a jean jacket on in many of them. <laughs> and tie-dye shirts. I got a lot of tie-dye shirts. The one with you <laughs> and Rafe where you're like, look at that fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Scroll down, Randall. I want to see. Okay. Or let's just go through some of these thumbnails. Sleepy Creepy Joe's thumbnail on YouTube, that episode, one of my favorites. <laughs> really, I mean, that is your face. You look like someone just scared you, like a bear crept up and was like, hello, <laughs> while you were camping. <laughs> look at this one. Mm -hmm. That's got a couple of fans on it. This got one, a couple of slop citizens. We look very... Jean jacket, jean jacket, black shirt, jean jacket, jean jacket. That's kind of what I wear. That's what I'm wearing right now. Are you wearing the crystal robe in that? No, that's that shirt that... Oh, uh, the cool sweater? Yeah. Man, that thing was awesome. Got okay. Southwest vibes. Southwest Airlines vibes. <laughs> <laughs> um, So I'm thinking of remodeling my house, kind of like, you know girl like at brunch with all her <laughs> friends yeah i'm just really leaning towards like this southwest vibe you know yeah i just want i just want you know bowls of little peanuts everywhere <laughs> i just want you know like those small plastic dixie cups of water like just i really and i want to have the strongest ventilation that you could ever think just of. have dixie cups sitting around for no reason yeah, just, you know, and cans of water. I don't want bottles of water. I want oh, cans of water. Weird. Kind of a Southwest Airlines vibe. Oh, you thought I was talking about Aztec? Yeah. New Mexico architecture? So what you're saying is you want Southwest Airlines vibe. Yes, I want Southwest Airlines vibes. I'm going to have a rapid rewards room. And to get into the rapid rewards room, you have to have a Chase credit card that has your rapid rewards numbers on there. If you don't have a Southwest Airlines Chase credit card, you cannot come into that room. I have one. But my question is, are you going to have the smallest bathrooms possible? They're going to be really tiny. And the flush is going to take your breath away. It's going to actually disembowel you <laughs> if you're sitting. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have the strongest flusher known to man. <laughs> Boy, it'll just blast you out. Look at this. <laughs> this is a favorite of mine. Cowboys butts. Cowboy butts. That was a great episode. Look at us sitting side to side. I mean, you can really see how far we've come. Oh, God. What a horrific angle. Oh, look at Kitty, though, in the... That was when he used to hang out with us. Kitty? He's laying on the couch partying. He's like, fuck y'all. I'm sick y'all. Our very first episode was episode 21. Big hog. Birds get the worm. <laughs> oh, is that? I've never so heard dark. that before. That's really so interesting. So far away. I, I uh, just thought of that. I'm pretty, I'm a philosopher. Content I, creator. Look at our old timey microphones that we had there creator, too. Also, um, I don't even remember those things. microphones, oh, man. Oh my God. Kitty. Oh, Kitty talk. left okay. us then. Yeah, because you've got sniped. 
Have you ever been snipe hunting? Snipe hunting? Look yeah. at the, like play I the just game am in awe of the on microphones. the computer that was really big in the 90s? Nope. That's the only kind of snipe that I've done. <laughs> it's when you go into the woods with is a bag that, and try to catch a that, snipe. <laughs> what the fuck's a snipe? That, well, see, you'd be a perfect candidate. Oh, and our blessed toilet Look paper. At your, why don't we play? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, the toilet paper. We don't even have that on here anymore. <laughs> I mean, is that a stand that you would use at a live live venue? <laughs> Look at that fucking stand, dude. <laughs> that thing is out of control. We should play a clip from the Thank Cowboy Butts you know episode. Don't- the fucking microphone. Okay, so, so this is our. Do I'm we gonna even give this- do we even address that this is the first episode we're recording? <laughs> like that's what I want to know. Or were we so new that we had no idea what we were doing? I mean, the way Libby's sitting, too, she looks so innocent. Her hair is in a really very exist. high ponytail so in this episode. So you'd be running around out in the woods with a flashlight. Well, go to the beginning and, and see if we address it. So I just got... Hey, guys, welcome to the podcast. Wow. Uh, this, is a, this is the podcast, and... Uh, this podcast is called Slop City. This podcast is brought to you by multiple slops in one stinking... Location. Someone said Slop Sisters the other day, and I wanted to get a t-shirt that said Slop Sisters. Why haven't we? <sighs> with both of, you wear one with my face on it, and I wear one with your <laughs> face on oh it. Oh, my God. Mm. Mm-mm. Oh, my God. Welcome to Slop City, everyone. Hello. Hi. I'm uh, Libby Higgins. I'm what you call a co-host. I'm Tina Debal. I'm what you call the <laughs> supreme leader. <laughs> He's sitting there wow. with his You're one getting kind of big little in your tiny shirts. desk. No, I'm, with I'm one not. monitor. Is, uh, 50 50 <laughs> equal split. Actually, you probably do more work than I do. With the one arm. <laughs> He's literally the, the angle where he put his glasses on, they only have one, <laughs> one section to go over his ear. The other half is broken off. So he is putting them on. Like, I don't even know like what you would call that. he's a professor at a college, and he's getting ready to do a, 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 what's it called, lecture. People that have glasses with just one arm, they're like, I'm just too busy to get new ones. I'm so busy reading and writing <laughs> writing thesis statements. Look at Kitty back there, though. Oh, my God. That's what I have to say about that. Don't cut that sound out. Randy I want it in there. didn't it's have raw, nothing authentic, to do, so he just sat there organic. and wrote it. You got the long, look at how long that rod is. <laughs> that, that looks like you could, you're uh, fishing bugs out of a fishing pool. Hey, if there was ever a moment where I just like, hey, I'm going to go fishing, I just pick up my microphone stand and take it with me and hook a string to it with a worm. Mm-hmm. Any good fisherman knows that worms, especially early birds, get the worm. <laughs> wow. Oh, is that, I've never heard that before. Early That's really interesting. I get the worm. I uh, just thought of that. I'm pretty, I'm a philosopher. Content creator, philosopher. Philosoph- it doesn't look like we address it. <laughs> we just kept it moving. Kept it moving. Kitty, though. I, I miss know. Kitty being in it. Kitty doesn't want to be in it. Kitty heard enough out of me. I think that's... And see, Kitty was laying on my side of the room. <laughs> and I think we must have gotten into some kind of fight one day that I was unaware of. The clap. I'm putting on the Cowboys Butts episode. Oh, look, we got a little better. Tommy Tommy got us that. Tommy made some fancy. All mics oh. are on go. Okay. Waiting for confirmation from I don't have shoes on. Randall R. Cash. Wearing an off the shoulder shirt. Initiation sequence initialized. I think that was too many initial initial <laughs> words. I got the same cup. Inertia. Hey, I'm just going to get this started because I'm flaming hot, angry right now. (laughs) Uh, Woke up this morning. Didn't go to sleep. Sorry. Correction. Edit that out. Stayed up all night masturbating. (laughs) And found out that our Tina D-Ball, who is my co-host, was on the fucking news. Never once mentioned. You're vaping over there. (laughs) Never once (laughs) mentioned. A- that she had an interview. Two, that it was going to appear on live television. <laughs> Three, was wearing a nice red blouse on the news. <laughs> and four, 
uh, didn't say shit about Slop City podcast. Yes, I did. They I cut did it out. fucking say it in the interview. He was. I was like, it is. He was like, oh, you have a podcast. So what's what's the name of it? I was like, well, it's called Slop City. And he's like, oh, cool. What's it about? And I was like, um, it's about an hour. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, let me just give you a sample. And then I grabbed his nutsack <laughs> and I slapped him in the face. And then no, he I filled uh, up a Ziploc bag of diarrhea and was like, here you go. <laughs> no, I did. I said, I was like, uh, it is, it's not safe for work. We need a and best of. And Yale goes, yeah. We, you know what? A best of slop We city. really do. We got to just compile a video where we just do all the best of. I just want to get to the cowboy butts part real quick. Some dumb things like deposit fake Whoa. checks. How are you Look just at that. sitting like that? Look at that. I kind of change. Like, I'm like, yeah. Well, I was also like 40 pounds lighter here. Who can just so put I their leg just, up like that? I could move and groove <laughs> a lot easier. <laughs> I mean, I was, this is straight. This is uh, almost a year and a half ago. I was definitely 40 pounds lighter here. So I'm just like, whoa, moving my leg, putting my legs up by my chest. Into the ATMs and take $200 out on Sundays. <laughs> Our job that I work at that have lost loved ones to overdoses. Oh, and- oh wow. We got heavy there. You're like, feeling that itch. Yeah, finding I'm like, a find, catching a catch. Fuck haven't I been doing this? Uh, They're the same fucking needles. Are they used- little? What are we or talking about? Some kind of dating app, right? That would be my. He so we put, maybe just put the glory hole in the under tr- his just, instead of being in the front. <laughs> maybe just do a cool sign move, you know, like sign spinners do mm-hmm. that work at Little Caesars. Maybe do a cool thing like that and spin it on the top of your hand <laughs> like a basketball. Have you ever seen? You yeah, know, yeah, a yeah. Cool, maybe Space Jam where mm-hmm. Michael Jordan spins yeah. the basketball yeah. what on are top we of doing? his finger, right, right, and kind of. Right. Let that hold up there for a bit, the sign. And, you know, you're strong because right, right. her name's Dino or Dino. So right. flip that bitch right behind you. And then, boom, you oh, got this a second is what we were little doing hole. Right. So you, um, have, you have the board. Oh, that is the advice column. Man, where is Cowboy Butts at? Punch. You're a more storyteller. Yeah, I'm not. Ne- I'm not really. I feel they like just it might met have with been each other's eyes end. like, OK, drop it. Know. Like, we're not. <laughs> Thank you, Randall. We always used to get really Get hot bits right at the Probably end, but I guess it just wasn't. Had- That's okay. We're going to have to find it. We definitely need to do a best of. But the point is, look at these camera angles. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck are these? <clears throat> we didn't even know what the fuck we were doing. I mean, and we go like that for a while. Holy shit, dude. That's episode. When did we finally change? Oh, these are during COVID. So here's where we tried to start changing. This is when we thought coronavirus was going to last like a little bit. (laughs) Okay, here it is. Look, we're doing that weird look at this video too, though. Oh, look at that advertisement. Yeah. We're monetized. Only men's brand. Please do not send us because we've gotten way too wow. many. Just send a picture Get, we were of your getting lunch. Better. If somebody calls me a pussy. What- Look at how dark it is. <laughs> what is wrong with us? It was all about Randy getting these One more lights time. Right Why did we ever think it looked good? Because we didn't know any better. I know. It's so cute. And then now look at it. We're like, I mean, it Blouse just looks Amazon, so I'm not good. Sure you good. look like a man that's about to fucking... <laughs> 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 you look like a man that's about to go tend to his livestock. <laughs> I mean, that whole outfit is a vibe, dude. I mean, I love it. It looks so good. You literally look I'm... like you're about to fucking <laughs> just take care of all your cows by yourself. I, I wish that that jacket was bigger so I could wear it all the time. Oh, God. I can only wear it to podcasts. Because it's too tight. Yeah. There's definitely some items of clothing that I only wear to the podcast because you see from here up. <laughs> and I'm like, it doesn't fit otherwise, but boy, am I wearing the fuck out of it It today. looks good on the on the TV program, but not in real life. Mm. What are we doing there? Oh, that was our first art corner. 
Oh, I just threw up a little in my mouth. Oh. Yes. It was. I don't I'm not sure why I threw up. Then look at us now. Wow. We I mean, we have come so far. How cool is this? Guys, this is just a really uh easy way of telling you that the podcast is over. Libby, <laughs> Wait, what? Libby's going on the road, leaving us and That's not the, true. the podcast is over forever. So That's not this true. Is it. This is the last episode, everybody. We have them stockpiled. <laughs> I'm fucking around. This is the last stockpiled one though, so if I'm not back when this one airs, psst. I'm going to have Bobby J. Cox or Rafe Williams fill in with me. Bobby J. Cox. Bobby J. Cox. Bobby the Bone Man J. Cox. I met a guy last night at uh, my friend Danny's house. Um, She yes. bought a new house and uh, in, the, in South City. She's selling her house in Rock Hill. So I wanted to go see her new house. And I went and saw it last night and I'm checking it out. You know, we're chilling, hanging out for a little bit, just chatting outside. And uh, at the end, this new guy that I met, he asked me, he was like, he was a little fucked up and not a little, a lot. <laughs> uh, and he was like, so uh, what kind of style comedy do you do? Kind of like Hannibal Buress's? Is it like that? And I go, yeah, if you actually, I just know his bits by heart and I just do <laughs> all of his on stage. Every bit I do is a Hannibal Buress bit. So I really got him. You really burnt him. Roasted his ass. Will he remember the convo? Gonna be honest, no. And what was funny is he and he knew Bobby J. Cox, Bobby the Bone Man J. Cox, because I think they went to school together, okay. like in High Ridge, High Missouri. Ridge. Okay. So and the guy, I was like, all right, I'll let him know that I talked to you and met you. He goes, you're not gonna remember. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think you're gonna remember, buddy. <laughs> uh, but I did call Bobby on the way home. He can confirm he does know that cat. Did he? Did he laugh so hard? I love when Bobby laughs so hard. Me too. It's the most it's purest. Like, <laughs> it's <laughs> so pure. Like his laugh is truly oh. just. Oh, are you getting a sniff of the perfume? Let me get a. Let me get a. Let me get a pump. Can I get a pump of the perfume I bought you? I mean, you bought it for me, but. <laughs> I just want to get a pump so I can remember what it smells like. Tina. Got- Tina bought me Tom Ford. <laughs> yeah. God, if y'all don't know what that is, that's rich people shit. Tom Ford I, also does cool things like writes fuck and stuff. What? Yeah, hold on. While you're looking for that, I'll tell the story. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> I smelled a woman in Phoenix that smelled good. I asked her <clears throat> why she smelled so good, and she said it was Tom Ford. So for the past week, I've been thinking... Oh, man, I'd really like to go get some Tom Ford, but they're in the mall, and I don't fucking want to go in a mall. Whoa. Yeah, dude, Tom Ford has a scent called Fucking Fabulous. Why didn't you give me that one? Well, because I didn't know what it $350? Like. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Looked at the price tag. I told the woman, I'm like, we're going to need to go a little lower than that. You're like, uh, fucking what? So Tina went and bought it for me, knowing damn well that I was going to love it. And she was right. Yep. I'll never smell bad again. It's Libby's first official perfume. I've never had a real perfume. This is her first one, guys. Every person needs to have some good perfume. And you just have to find which one works for you. Like, it is difficult. Because I started thinking about it when I was leaving there after I bought that for you. I'm like, I have worn the same perfume since I was 15 years old. Wow. Same one. Never changed. That's all I've worn. I dabbled. I dabbled a little bit before I found that one. I used to get a lot of of the scented oils from Body Shop. Okay. Those were always my favorite, but I wouldn't consider those real perfumes. Mm -hmm. When I was a a kid, teenager, I would get uh, Love's Baby Soft. Wouldn't consider that a real perfume. You wear Paris Hilton? That was the first perfume I really ever wore was Paris Hilton perfume. Circa like 2005. Was it floral? Um, I think, yeah, it had kind of like a little fresh smell or whatever. It was really popular. Like a lot of the gals that I fucked around with wore it. The closest I ever had to real perfume were the little samples they give you. Yeah. In the, in the magazines. In the magazines or sometimes you get a little packet and have like the smallest. Yep. Little square of perfume. Wow, look at that box. Even the box is fancy. Look at this. The top of the Tom Ford box. 
Not only the front is crispy as fuck, it's a nice gold, a very crisp black label that just says Tom Ford Black Orchid, but the top of it says TF. TF, like the fuck? Yeah. What is it? See, and I love that they're using the word fuck in anything. You got me. You're writing fucking something. I'm in. I have to see if he's on Instagram because I'm going to follow him. Yeah, and let him know I'll. Oh, God. I have still have this cold sore in my nose and it hurts so bad. I've been picking it to get it out. I need to see a photo of this cat. Tom Ford. What do you think? You think he's sexy? Hell yeah. Going to be honest, not what I expected him to look like. Wow, he only has 9.7 million followers. Wow. Oh, here he is looking like Bono. <laughs> Wearing Bono sunglasses. Who is, like, who is he? How does he just decide he's going to start making perfumes? Parfums. Do you think uh, those glasses were prescribed to him or he bought them at the <laughs> dollar store? He looks like that guy that uh, is a comedian that... Jeremy Piven. Yes, that... This is a bad boy. That is a very bad boy. What? Oh, look at that picture. I would fucking kill to have that wallpaper. wallpaper like that. I mean, get the fuck out of here. I'm sure that my grandmother had some like that. That shit's fucking cool. And look at the couch in the background. I love how shit just comes back around again. Like it's out of style and now it's in style. Yeah. I just can't stop looking at it because it's... A real bottle. I know. I'm really excited for you. I couldn't believe you like that woman's per. I wrote it in my notes in my cell phone that moment because I was like blown away that you even liked it because you're very sensitive to smells. Yes. Like if somebody has, she can't use air wicks in her house because it's like, oh God, I went out of town and the <laughs> air wick was just plugging along. <laughs> I plugged it in and it was just plugging along doing its job and it's just so strong I had to unplug it. And I'm somebody who I'm like, yeah, give me smells. I want the breeze, osium, candles. I want can, it all. Can we talk about how Uber drivers that are men should not spray anything in the oh. car on themselves? It's, it is horrible. Oh. Yesterday I had to Uber, take an Uber to the rental car place. This guy had so much stuff sprayed in there. That it's on my sweater, my favorite pink sweater, and I couldn't wear it today. Yeah. And it's on my purse. We, that Uber that we got into the morning we left Phoenix, I'm telling you, man, that motherfucker had, and listen, I, like I said, this, I like, I smoke, but he was hiding smoke in there, and that's gross. That's what this guy was hiding. Oh my weed. God, I just got a whiff of the perfume after it really set in and like Kylie. sunk to my oils. Yep. Smells like Kylie. And also just incredible. Ooh, God damn, dude. It's fucking good. It is good. And, you know, I'm a Chance by Chanel girl. It's just, I was thinking today when I was in Sephora buying it or whatever. Chance. I'm like, man, one day I'm going to have a ton of perfumes. I know that. And you're going to just select from them? Yeah. It'll be like, what kind of vibe am I feeling today? Oh, I'm going out to dinner. I'm very rich. And oh. I just had my Netflix special come out. And, oh, God, I'm so excited. Can't wait. What am I going to wear tonight? Now I know why ladies have those mirrored. Um, the little trays tray. that are mirrored yep. that put their little perfume on there because it's a hot commodity. Well, and you don't just toss this in the fucking nightstand drawer. No. Until you put it on. You got to set it on a little mirrored tray. That shit needs to be out for the public to see. But not use. I wouldn't want somebody coming around oh no what's this one that's nope. how i found my first perfume oh. coming around i told you all that story went in that house that we like robbed it was like at a party or whatever and i found chance by chanel that way did you rob it i robbed it got a lot of extension cords to take to the pawn shop that's how you know you're a fucking drug addict extension <laughs> yeah it was fucking sad they're like we can't take these oh they didn't take them no so what'd you do with them Fucking probably took him back out and got mad and was motherfucking the pawn shop. Standing on the street being like, I got a nice uh, extension cord for you. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i excited for you. I'm excited you've got your first fucking. Oh, what's that rose Whoa, one? Oh, it's called Rose Prick. Rose is my other favorite scent. 
Rose Prick. I need some samples, Tom Ford. $350 for that. I'd go into the store. Oh my God, that one's four fifty. I'd go into the store, take a Ziploc bag, and just pour a little bit of the sample in there. And listen, I want everybody to be aware right now that like the way we're talking about this, I don't want you guys to think, wow, you know, they're selling out. They're so, <laughs> they're oh God, they're getting so rich. All they can talk about is fragrances, you know? There are things that I think are, there are a lot of things that I think are really overrated. You know, like people that spend a shit ton of money on Gucci and stuff like that. If that's what you want to do, fine. But I don't, I can't, like, let's look at how much a Gucci belt is right now. There's this cat I know who's like, yeah, I spent X amount of money on a Gucci belt. And I literally almost fell out of my fucking chair. $490 for that belt. No, 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 absolutely not. I will have, you know, just because I have Tom Ford fragrance, that doesn't mean that I don't still have a hole in my kitchen wall where water drains through every time it it rains. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that the foundation of my house has huge cracks on it that small animals can get in, like maybe a raccoon or a rat. That doesn't mean that there isn't a group, a gaggle of people living under her crawl space. That doesn't mean that my car, every time I have to do stop and go, the transmission heats overheats. Mm. Who even knew that a transmission could overheat? Yeah, I thought it just died. I hate when people call transmission tranny. That doesn't mean... That I wear the same, that I'm not going to wear the same pair of New Balance tennis shoes with mm-hmm. every outfit, no matter if it's a dress outfit or sweatpants. I've been rocking this sports bra <laughs> I'm wearing right now for a solid six years. <laughs> it has holes in it. It is Hanes brand. Okay? You, you want to see it? You want to see it? It's not good. It's just <laughs> shitty cotton. Look at it. It's got that little thing in the middle. It's like a bralette. You see that? It's got the thing in the middle that's supposed to be like, oh, it's very fashionable. <laughs> the color black, this was very crisp when I bought it. Randy, look at me. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Randy's writing down, these women are insane. Um, the, the color black on this bra is totally washed out, okay? I mean. You know what Randy's writing? Okay, these girls pay me nothing. And you just bought her a thing of one hundred dollar perfume. Just because I bought my friend a a hundred something dollar thing of perfume doesn't mean that. Do you guys understand that my pussy stunk? And instead of calling the doctor and going and making appointments for it, because it was going to be multiple appointments. They were going to have to do a couple to figure Ex- out what the excavation. cause of it. Yeah. They're going to have to excavate whatever <laughs> dead things in there. Instead of doing that, I went online, researched some stuff, talked to my friend Libby here, who also is a simple gal, and decided to go a homeopathic route and buy some boric acid <laughs> fucking suppositories. Did it work? Shove them bitch. Yes. Yeah. Did work. Okay. So, yeah, just because we're fancy and have perfume and things like that, you know, don't forget where we come from, y'all. Don't. Don't forget that Randy, who's supposed to be in control of the podcast, is looking on his phone on work hours. Wow. <laughs> Unreal. I, I quit my job where I couldn't look at my phone during the day. Just wanted to say that. Even though I did. Yeah, I was like, you definitely did. And every time my boss would walk in, like my big boss, and I'm sitting here on my phone, I'd be like, all right, your timer is almost up. would be pretending that I had a timer on a kid. Oh, Oh, wow. Would you really? Hell yeah, I'm smart. I'd be like this. Oh, I see her. Wait a minute, let me get it set up. (laughs) Dude, they definitely knew you were lying. (laughs) Shoot. Big boss walk in, and I'd be like, all right, your timer is almost done. We have three more seconds in two, one. All right, we are finished. Put the toys up. Oh, Fucking boss move, dude, bitch. Dude, you can't even lie to a police officer. You can't lie to... You would literally take the blame. If you and I were driving and there was weed in the car, you have told me that you would take the blame. I would. So, 
you are able to lie to your boss like that? Well, I mean, the kid probably should have been on a timer. That so is, let's just... <laughs> that's a boss bitch move, man. And then the kid's like, why did I only get a four second timer? And the shut kid, the kid up. calls you out. Shut up! Shut, shut up! I love that alarm sound. That's really nice. Oh, the kids love that timer sound. It's oh. a good one. Can you play it again? Do we have to pay Apple? Do you want me to reenact the whole thing again? Yeah, I would love it. Let me think of a kid name. Okay. What's a good kid name? Uh, Adrian. There's boss. Oh, Adrian. Looks like you only have about five seconds left, honey. Okay. All right. Start cleaning it up. All right. There's your timer. Time to clean up. Wow. Great sound. Love that you lied to her. <laughs> Does she know that you lied about it? Who cares? Who gives a fuck? Who you cares? quit there. I'm just pretty impressed that you were lying about it. That's really cool. I don't consider that lying. I consider that self-preservation. Preservation. Oh, do you? I was trying to spare myself the embarrassment of getting in trouble in front of my coworkers. Lying by omission. God damn, I smell good right now, dude. I am just getting little Same. whiffs here and there, and I'm feeling confident. Because that's a great thing about these, you know, like I was saying, it's like spending that much money on a belt and stuff like that. It's just not for me. I don't, I shop consignment. I go to Goodwill. I do Poshmark. I do Plato's Closet. Like I do primarily consignment. There's a few things that I will do. Um, I'll buy full price. Like my Brooks tennis shoes that I'm wearing right now, mm -hmm. thought that was full price. And it was worth every fucking dollar because they're good tennis shoes and they support my feet. And they protect my neck. Here they are. Oh, yeah, I like those. Kind of the same model of the New Balance where it's a, a big, a wider bottom. Yep. I like to have the bottom go out further than the shoe. Because I have some New Balance where it's the old school style where it's the skinny. Yeah. It's just not enough. I can't I, wear them. I used to have like a cool pair of New Balances at, or like Sauconies that were like old school, like sick ass tennis shoes. And I want to get those back that are kind of stylish, you know. They're like the 90s kind. Do you know what I'm talking about? How about you look it up and show us? Okay. Saucony. Never knew that's how you say it. I don't know if it is, but I've worn those running shoes for years. Like these guys. See, I like those. I love those, but the base isn't isn't wide enough. It's yeah. a very thin base. And I always I have to fight any way to keep my fucking <laughs> heels from or my ankles from turning in and out. I just, oh, look I at just those. googled New Balance cool shoes. <laughs> and I have two pairs of those. These are incredible. I love them. I mean, these are so cool. These old school ones. Love oh, it. God, I love those. Just not enough bottom. Yeah, they just they just look so crispy and cool, you know. Retro sneakers. That's I, what I bought called. kind of those ones right here. Those? Kind of, and not big enough. Yeah. Well, I mean, these are more like wearing comfy shoes, but still being able to look cool while you do it. You know? I've given up those days. Those sure. days are long gone for me. I look cool by not looking cool. That's my thing. I agree. I'm just like, whatever. Oh, for sure. Excuse me. I wore matching PJs the other night. Rafe was like, Tina. <laughs> They're like the uh, tie-dye blue. It's like a little t-shirt and short set. Yes. He was like, you look like a big blue marshmallow. <laughs> I would have punched his lights out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What does he want you to be naked all the time? Uh, Which isn't going to. I don't sleep naked. You know that. I don't like to sleep naked. I do. I know you do. And that's great. That's your choice. As an American... Citizen. I rolled over the other day with my tits hanging out. And Tina goes, damn, your tits look great like that. Because <laughs> I'm laying down. Yeah, stand me up, baby. Where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> stand me up. Oh, fuck. They're on the ground. <laughs> Hello. Yellow. Somebody gather my tit for me. Yeah, but I just, I, I can't, you know, perfume, spending a hundred something dollars on that, whatever. And I mean, this shit lasts all day long. Like, I'm telling you, you've smelled my perfume I'm over the years. It. Yeah, it's. And it, you're like, damn. I put on some rose oil. I put on rose oil this morning. It's already gone. It was gone 10 minutes. After That's what I'm saying, on. bro. These parfums will change your fucking life. And this is eau de parfum, not eau de toilet. Eau de toilet. So what's the diffs? So eau de toilet. 
Let's look it up. When they get out of the car. Whoa, that one's $1,700. Get the fuck out of here. (laughs) I want to spend $1,700 fucking dollars on some perfume. People might say that about this perfume. They might, but they're wrong. Hundred bucks. That one's bro. spooky looking. Yeah, I don't Louis, like that. But is it Louis? Louis Vuitton? Is that how you say it? Where? That? The one with the spooky lady on it. That? Yeah. No, it says Christian Louboutin, which sounds a lot like lobotomy. Isn't that Louis Vuitton? It is. Isn't that how you say Louis Vuitton? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a skull head. That's why it looks spooky. Kind of spooked you out, didn't it? Type in Louis Baton and see if that's how you say Louis. <laughs> Obviously, we're not fancy enough to have any of this. No. Well, and that's the thing, I guess, with like those like Louis Vuitton. Oh, Louis- that's Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah, it's Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. V- v- <laughs> I spelled Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, too. Like, I, it's, I see those purses, and to some people, and... Some people, they're like, yeah, dude, this is awesome. People know I'm fucking rich. Like, it's, I honestly believe it's a status thing. Because I'm like, you can't look at this purse and tell me it's cute. You just can't. It's not cute. It has someone else's initials on it. If your name is Anne Frank, Anne, if your name, (laughs) fuck. (laughs) <laughs> vibing dude if your name is Anne Frank or Michelle Williams MW and you're carrying that purse around with the LVs on it and I'm looking around maybe you left your purse accidentally at the table you're in a restaurant or you're in a movie theater and you leave it I'm not going to be like is this Michelle Williams purse I'm going to think of a name that is LV and I'm going to be like it Linda Varings, Linda Ver close veins, <laughs> <laughs> Linda Viker Viking. I mean, why would you want something with someone else's initials on it? I don't want people if I get rich to know that I'm rich. That's what I'm saying. I want they'll start asking you for money. Do you know what I will be driving when I'm rich? Your car? Yeah, gonna be driving a Toyota. I might get. A Toyota Highlander or a Forerunner, because those things are fucking cool. You know? But I'm not going to be, when I'm rich, I'm not going to be riding around with one of those. I just, I don't like it because everybody else has it. You know what I mean? I want something that's got. Got what? It's got Tina <laughs> in it. Maybe you, know? you could make your own brand. A, I don't want a it. TD. I don't want anybody Instead else. Of TF, it'll say TD. Yeah. It'll smell like, we- uh, what are those? Sardines. Tom Ford. Tom D ball. <laughs> more more like Tom D ball. More like Tom D ball. <laughs> what if I just started my own line that was Tom D ball? <laughs> just to compete with him. You I, know, I want to go back to that one that's that I thought was Louis Vuitton, but it was actually Louis Lebo Lebo Lobotomy? Lebot Labushkin. This perfume? Whoa, we're on the Saks Fifth Avenue website. You got to pay $5 just to get on this website. I mean, this is for rich people, for rich cunts. Randy, have you ever had an expensive fragrance? Dude, I'm all about fucking expensive perfumes, but they don't make mine anymore, so I kind of am fucking done. Honeys, no. What was your perfume? It was a Prada product called Prada Extreme. They don't make it anymore. Prada Extreme! Extreme! And it doesn't even have the E. It's just the X. <laughs> no, dude. Prada Extreme. They don't make it at all. Can you get it anywhere? No. Uh, you can probably get it online. I just don't trust it, man. That's all. You can get some overstock. There it is Whoa. right there, son. Bro, right did there. you ever wear Dracar Noir? In like 1980. God, that stuff got me so hot. <laughs> did it? This oh. shit used to drop some panties I right remember. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I. Do you remember this one? I remember this ad in magazines when I was younger, this this Aqua de Gio. Do you remember? Yes. Oh, God. Let me type in an ad, and I'm going to get so freaking horny. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. This guy. 
I mean, oh, it's Giorgio Armani. Lots of brothers in there. Is that Giorgio Armani guy the same one that makes Armani dresses? Probably. Why are they cry? You know what? I don't like this. What? I don't like it one bit. I don't like that there's all these cats that claim they're fashionistas and making all these expensive dresses, and then they're also making fragrances. You're one or the other, man. You're telling me all of these fashion cats also fashion are, cats. are chemists? They're dipping into... I mean, it's just like us. We're comedians, but we're also actresses, so... No, I don't think so. You're good at one of them. You're telling me Giorgio Armani is a chemist and knows how to blend fragrances together? Like He doesn't, yeah, he like, doesn't blend it. He goes into the thing, and they're like... He's like... Yep, like that one. Put my name on it. I trust Yankee. Chelsea Lynn told me what that was called. Now I can't remember. I trust Yankee Candle to make me a fucking <laughs> fragrance more than I would Giorgio Armani. How about Mainstays? Armani. Mainstays? Mainstays Candles by Walmart. I Oh, I know all about Mainstays. Here's the deal. It's not as strong as some of the other candles out there. And I, I, I'll bet my bottom dollar on that. Look at those handsome young men on there. Oh, God, I'm freaking horny. Do you guys remember this bottle, though? What was the other one that was from uh, the early 80s? Uh, let me ask my sister. Kylie just texted me back. She goes, oh, my God, I love you guys. This made my day. I honestly haven't tried the flavor, but I'm thinking I will. Hope you ladies are good. Come back and see me soon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, popular 80s perfumes. Fifty most popular vintage perfumes from the 80s. Who you calling, sis? Sis, I have to find out what that post. Oh, Yves Saint Laurent. Cardi B sings about them all the time. I love their font. Hi, sis. Did she just say what's wrong? Yes. I, we're on the podcast. Remember that? No. Remember that um, poster that used to have hanging on your wall that was like a man with his shirt off? Oh, yeah, with the uh, underwear on. He's real tan. Was that, was that underwear or was that a perfume ad? You know, I it might have been, but he was in his white underwears, laying on his back with his arms behind his head. Because we're, I, we're, I have no idea, and I wasn't even attracted to things like that. I have no idea why it was even on my wall. Uh, She's like, I was attracted to women. <laughs> was it an under? It was an underwear ad, wasn't it? It was an underwear ad, yeah. Okay, never mind then. Okay. We're talking about sorry, It's okay, sis. Don't be sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm doing my woman's work. <laughs> <laughs> Poor sis. Well, get your little bonnet on. Oh, I do. I have a face mask on and a hairband. <laughs> All right, sis. Love you. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. All I, I typed in popular vintage perfumes from the eighties, and this is the ad that came up. This is Nikki de Saint Fallet or something. Who knows? As controversial as the artist who created it. Look at this ad. <laughs> dangerous, but worth the risk. Fuck yeah, it's dangerous. You're sleeping with some kind of clown that's morphed into an alien. <laughs> Look at that thing. I mean, that is very sexual. I mean, he's he could be sleeping with a swamp person, and he has no idea. He's just a hot <laughs> model, got hired to do a gig, and now, next thing you know, he's turning into the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> he's turning into Nessie. <laughs> oh, shit. He's turning into big old Nessie. And look at that. Those snakes, those look like the things that come... Into Your Body in the movie Alien with Sigourney Weaver. They're both one of the, snakes. One of the greatest movies in America. Look, they're both snakes. He's I a gold one. She's a 
green spotted one. It's like, oh, wow, it's so dangerous getting together with something that's a different color than me. <laughs> You're idiots. Look up Chantilly Lace. Chantilly Lace? That perfume is the worst smelling perfume. Oh, God. Does it just smell like fucking... Old lady. Gross. And I I had to go to a a dance at a boy's high school one time. Didn't have a formal dress. The girl down the street let me borrow her dress, but her dad was a heavy, heavy smoker. I mean heavy smoker. A couple dress a day. Was reeks of smoke, and I sprayed so much Chantilly lace on it, and that was actually worse than the oh actual God, smoke. Yeah. Well, because you mix old woman oh. plus Siggy's, you're done for. You know what we should do? Thanks, Randy. After you get um your first lipedema surgery, and you're like you're healed and all that, and maybe things are feeling a little better, we should go and do a perfume mukbang at Macy's. Oh Not hell eat, yeah! Just like. Literally just walk around, smell, they and won't rate let us. perfumes. They won't? I don't think we can film in there. I bet we could. We should get a bunch of samples. Okay. And sit down at the table and oh, smell them. That's what we should do. And rate them all. That would be really fun. That'd be really something. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Obsession. I remember all those. Yep. Yeah, that stuff stunk. It that was very it, strong. It looks like it stunk. It's got a little hat on there to signify, <laughs> hey, people that wear hats are really rich. Very so. strong. Oh. This perfume smells. It, it. I was just getting ready to talk about number five by Chanel. It is fucking horrible. Is it an old lady smell? Yep. Oh, man. I want to f- get it just so you can fucking smell it. It is truly horrific. It's that smell when you like hug an old woman and you're like, Jesus Christ, lady. <laughs> Fuck. Do you remember any famous, not famous, any women scents from back in the day, Randy, that you liked? Giorgio. Um, excuse me. Uh, not necessarily. I, I don't, ma'am. Sorry. That's okay, honey. Opium. Whoa, opium. Another one that's very strong. Was that one really bad? A lot of that. I, me too, brother. <laughs> Give it up. Oh, oh, you, you talk about opium by Hi. Yves, Yves Saint Laurent. Mm-mm, brother. Who's at the door? The mailman. Just kidding. I <laughs> literally, she's got. Oh, fucking, she's coming in. She and leaving. Bye. Where are, you, where are you going, honeys? To go get some lunch. Okay. Bless her heart. I want some lunch. I think I'm going to get me some after this. I want Kitty to love me like he loves her. He won't. What are we doing? Oh, I was doing a bit about opium. You ever <laughs> you ever tried opium? Hell oh, no. Dude, I love it, man. Getting high and fucked up. I'm talking about the perfume by Yves Saint Laurent, <laughs> you fucking psycho. That, that bottle looks like it would stink. Oh, for sure. Very cheap looking. But this is like... A it fragrant really expensive. as opulent. What's the rest of the rest? Where is the rest of the ad? Opium. A fragrant as opulent as your pussy. As opulent. And festive as the season. May Is Bullock's an old department store? <laughs> I don't know. Because that is a great. Yeah, going to go down to Bullock's. <laughs> Get me a new prom dress. Get me some opium. Poison is my potion. 1987. That's Christian Dior. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Yves Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. They're French, I think. If the person that made Yves Saint Laurent isn't French, I'm going to be fucking pissed, man. Yep, French fashion designer. Why are... I don't understand. The French just know fashion and fragrances. Well, I know that. But I'm saying I don't get why all these fucking designers get into fragrances? Are they just slapping their name on them? I think it's just part of the part of the deal. It all how to pronounce look up how to pronounce that one. (laughs) 
We got fucking. Oh, fucking. Randy's poor Google ads are going to be so fucked up. Dude. I know. Hey, I got a purse left over. Uh, I think the initials are Larry Vic. <laughs> Larry Vic. Are you in here? Larry. <laughs> okay. I'll try another one. L- L- Lyle. Lyle Virgin. Lyle Virch? Lester Vocabulary. <laughs> Vocabulary. Uh, Lesty Vine. <laughs> it's actually my purse, and that's that's the name of the designer, Louis Vuitton. What the fuck are you talking about? No, anything that's got initials <laughs> on it is somebody. It's not a monogram. I need you to show me your identification or otherwise I can't give you this purse because, you know, one time my son lost his T-shirt and we always put his initials on there. C-D. Look at the back of your pants. My son's name is Carson Daly. (laughs) C-D. Look at the back of your pants, sir. What are you talking about? Don't tell me that, It says Wranglers. Your name's not Wrangler. That's the name of your pantaloons. Well, everybody knows that's a brand of pants, you stupid bitch. (laughs) I'm trying to tell you it's the same with the purse. No way. Only time I see an initial, that's how I know that it's somebody. So I think you're wrong, and I'm going to need to get the police involved here. (laughs) Well, that's really escalating. Yeah, I mean, you need to show me your identification, and if it doesn't match LV, I can't give you the purse. You know, my job Look here, in the purse and you'll see my ID in there and it's a picture of my license with no, me. My no, name no. is uh, Franny McCaster. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, sir? I don't think that's your name. Look at my license. It's in the purse. Because I'm looking you up and down and based on how high your titties are up and the body type you have, I'd say you're not more than 31. <laughs> and that is a very elderly woman's name. <laughs> So if you're trying to pull one over on me, just you know, you know, I'm sick of people shitting I'm on me. I'm named after my no. grandmother. Fuck your grandmother. Just give me my, just give me my purse. Damn I it. am sick of people just pulling one over on me. Whoa, whoa, Danny, you need to get a better job. You can't be slinging popcorn and be the assistant manager at AMC theaters. All these years. You should have worked at the factory. Oh, why aren't you at the Chrysler plant? Fuck you. Fuck you, Franny debilitation. Can I please just have my purse and a box of Junior Mints and let me get out of here? I'm going to tell you something. I do have some training in martial arts, so you're going to have to fight me for it. It, This is a restaurant. I mean, a a movie theater. It's a movie theater. You know, why do every... Everybody criticizes my job. Oh, how's that job at the restaurant? Oh, how's that job at the movie place? It's not just a movie place. It's a place where magic happens and where dreams well, can ain't come magical. true. Well, this magical. I want my pocketbook so that I can get some, a small popcorn, a junior mints, and a Slurpee. I'm putting you under citizen's arrest. Well, I'm putting you on the news. <laughs> She pushes him and he falls <laughs> into the popcorn. Maker. Yeah, he falls. So much popcorn goes over him. It's like he's in a ball pit. <laughs> and he's going, <laughs> spitting out popcorn. No. Later that Christmas, somebody gets him a Louis Vuitton wallet and he's just like, <laughs> everything comes full circle. Yeah. And then he goes on a quest to find Franny. And they fall in love, deeply in love. They don't because she's pissed. Yeah. Watch the mouth move when you press that. Okay, so we're looking up how to say Yev St. Laurent. How would you pronounce that? Just don't look at that. St. Laurent. Okay. So here we go. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. Maybe we should refer to Cardi B. How does she say it? Let's do it slow. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. Hey, I got some uh, Yves Saint Laurent for sale in my trench coat. If you're looking, it's Christmas time coming up. It's July. 
<laughs> you know, Christmas time's coming up pretty soon, so you better be prepared. But I've got some Yevy San Lauren for sale if you're some what? Yevy San Lauren. Uh do you have any obsession by Calvin Klein? <laughs> what? What about opium by Saint Leaves or Lauren? Yevy. Ye- Yevi Sant Yevi Saint Laurent. I got some opium too. Like the perfume or the uh, the drug? Gotcha. I'm a per- <laughs> <laughs> I'm a perfume dealer, so I got opium. Are you an undercover cop? What? No, these are bootlegged uh, scents. Do you want to buy one or not? Uh, let me just- see your other. Let me see your other side to see if you're mic'd up. That's what not you- the other side. That's the same side. <laughs> What do no. you think? I'm a dummy? No, I'm just showing you the right side of my trench coat because that's where all my stuff is. What's on the other side of your trench coat? Uh, what? I can't show you that. It looks like the outline of a microphone. <laughs> it's like uh, one very that a, com- ob- a comedian has. Very <laughs> obviously a microphone. What do you mean? All right, get out of here, sis. You better get out. Peace. There's a microphone in my in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to blow. Wait, what? <laughs> it's going to blow. I only have 10 <laughs> minutes left. Are you an undercover cop? Or a- God, that's the worst thing you could do to somebody in an improv scene. Just be like, uh, there's a bomb. <laughs> oh, it's going to uh... blow. It's like, Jesus Christ, dude. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> it's like Michael Scott in the office. Every time he does an improv scene, he always has a gun. Oh, God. And they're like, dude, stop, you know. And they say if you have a gun, you have to use it. Yeah, it's- Why is that a rule? We'll never know. That's a weird improv rule. I yep. mean, even the paper in this Sephora bag I know. is better than any any kind of paper I've ever I had. asked her to wrap it up. She just gave me the bag, and I go, do you happen to have any uh, tissue paper that you could use, maybe a Kleenex or something? Did she go? No, she was actually very nice about it. Whoa. She probably thought I was trashy, but I don't give a fuck. Like, look, my friend is poor, and she's never had perfume. I'd like you to maybe... Jazz it up a little. I did say, I was like, you know, this person I'm buying it for, they're just, they're so poor and pathetic. She'll probably use this bag and like when she's walking out on the street, because she has like some old luggage, it's not good. She can use this for her luggage. I have so many of those bags saved in my home. Like just bags I get it for gifts and everything. I can't, I hold on to them. And you know what? I reuse the tissue paper. Some people may think I'm crazy, but I'll I'll take the tissue paper and I'll refold it back up after giving somebody a gift. Do you want this back? No, I do not. Because this will stay in my car. That's for you. Until my car either blows up. Mm-mm. Wow. That's for you, brother. I've never felt so fancy. Well, I'm glad. You got to be fancy for going on the road. We're not going to see Libby for like three weeks. <sighs> I don't think you come back until like the 23rd or what? Because I think the 22nd yeah. is a show in KC. And I'll, I'll see you in KC, right? I'll be there, honeys. I'll be at the show in KC. That's going to be a hell of a show. It's going to be real fun. We got some slop fans coming to that. Who? I can't remember. I think Jenny Watson is going to come. Oh, this is magical. There's there's a few slop fans that are coming for sure, so that'll be good. So I will be at the show in Kansas City. I will not be at any of the other ones, but Libby and Chelsea will be Fucking it up. Living life on the road. It'll be an adjustment to get used to not having Tina there. I know. I'm going to be sad. It's going to be sad. Because I'll be waiting to listen for, you're a weird fucking guy. <laughs> That's the line where I, I get so nervous. And I'm like, and I have to stand up and I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> it's my time to shine. Yeah. That's my closer. You're a weird fucking guy. So now you're going to be listening to all these other hostesses with the mostest. And I won't even know when to stand up. You're not going to know. You're going to have to be like, you need to give me the last line of your set. And if you change (laughs) it up, I'm going to beat your fucking ass. I won't know when to stand up. And it might take me a moment to stand up. I don't want to stand up too early. Because then if I have to stand up too early, what if I trip and fall? What I mean, I got to be ready. Oh, God. I know. I'm going to be sad. It's going to be sad. But it'll only be three weeks, and then we'll record 14 episodes while you're here uh, in between. I'm sorry, how many? Not 14, <laughs> but, you know, we, we, we're going to have to stockpile a few. This is what we're going to, this is what we're working towards, though. Right. This is what our lives are going to be. Oh, yeah. So this is. We're we not, a, I'm not complaining. We have a podcast, and we're going to have to record things 
at different times in between tour dates and all of that. That's that's what you do. That's what we do, Randy. What do you think Joe Rogan does? What do you think your mom's house does? I don't know. What do you think Sam Harris's podcast does? They just record. Sam whenever. Harris quitting smoking. He's not a comedian. He's a like a scientist, philosopher guy. But is he the guy that does the quit smoking and quit drinking books? He might. I don't know. But either way, this is what we. This is what famous. This is what we do. Have to do. You think Bill Burr is just like? Oh yeah, God, I'm pissed. I have to go on the road. I can't record my podcast. No, you piece of shit. You fucking record the podcast when you can, and you make it work, That's motherfuckers. Right. Because we're going to be rich. I got to get vaccinated today. Yeah. I just, for some reason, just thought of it. You spooked? I got, got, got spooked. You bet you have to do it. Yeah. So it's good. <laughs> All right, honeys. Well, I think this is going to be it. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the Rich Girls podcast that have very <laughs> nice perfume. It's called uh, Fucking Fabulous. <laughs> it's called Shut the Fuck Up, okay? Shut the fuck up, you bitch. Okay, love y'all. One more thing. I want to get, I want to make these my real glasses. What do you think? What glasses are those? Are those crystals? These are crystals for when she drives. Yeah. Because I can't wear the prescription. I think they're nice. Look at the sides. Yeah, they got a nice curve. Where'd you get those? Uh, Depop. Yeah. What'd you type in to find them? Vintage glasses. Love it. Oh, yeah, those are nice. The curve on the side, on the arm. The fact that you've got both arms is really nice. <laughs> Roasted. Thanks, Randall. Love yous. Love ya. Night, night. Bye-bye. Catch Libby on tour with Chelsea Lynn, Trailer Trash Tammy, and y'all better go. Oh, dude, those are nice. Are those actual Michael Kors glasses? These are Crystal's glasses for when she's not driving. Oh, those. okay, okay. Oh Not my god. My, these are also retro. I love that she's got two separate pairs of glasses. That is really something. I tried to drive in these, but god. they're prescription. Those lenses are thick, brother. All right, bye. Love yous, bye. And You're using a pantyhose to clean them off. Get the fuck out of and here. And cut. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! <laughs> oh.